Hello and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to talk about natural number exponents. It's kind of a broad sounding title, but basically what we're going to do in this section is learn how to work with exponents above and beyond what we've already talked about to help us simplify expressions. You know, most of algebra, to be honest with you, is learning how to simplify expressions. And a lot of students, when they start seeing exponents running around, you know, x to the 5, x to the minus 3, and, and other exponents everywhere, they just kind of freak out a little bit for no reason because it seems foreign to you. Until you get to algebra, you haven't dealt with exponents a lot. And exponents are everywhere in algebra. So, you know, a lot of students get uneasy. They don't know how to simplify. They don't know how to combine terms with exponents and things like that. We've talked a little bit about this in previous sections, but here we're going to just punch it in the face and really get on top of exponents and go over every little detail of how you simplify these things. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit of a long section. So make sure if you have to take a break or whatever, go ahead and pause the video and do that. Make sure you can do everything and understand everything in this section. I promise you it will make your life easier as you go on. And the good news is, I'll promise you when I tell you this, it's not hard. Let me just teach you the steps and we'll go from there. So let's do a little bit of a review. Let's, let's walk, let's crawl before we can walk. All right, and so we'll do a little, bit, a little bit of a review. When we have something like five raised to the power of three, then we already talked about the fact that what this is basically saying is it's five times five times five. We multiply the, the five by itself the number of times that the exponent represents. So it's a shorthand way, instead of writing all this multiplication out, it's a shorthand way of writing multiplication. So when you see exponents, try not to think, oh no, that's a, that's a crazy looking algebra thing. Think, that's just multiplication. That's all that exponent is. So hopefully break down you know, some fears if you have any of those. If you have anything like you know, negative four x raised to the power of five, if you were gonna expand this out, it would be a negative four from the front times x times x times x times x times x. I've multiplied x times itself five times because of this. And then the negative four is also being multiplied by the whole thing. So it's just kind of sitting out in front. So wouldn't you agree that, that taking this, writing this out is kind of cumbersome. So we have this nice shorthand way of writing the same thing. If you had something like negative two y, raised to the fourth power, that's negative 2y times negative 2y times negative 2y times negative 2y. And any, anytime you see parentheses just sitting next to each other, it means multiplication. We're multiplying everything inside the parentheses, which is negative 2y, times itself four times. So everything in here is raised to the power of the four. All right, now let me get to the first thing that we're really going to learn in this section. What if you were simplifying something like x to the fourth multiplied by x to the third. All right, so you want to simplify that. Now we already learned how to add and subtract exponents, right? And we, or, or I should say terms that have exponents. And we said the only way you can add or subtract them is if everything matches, the variable matches, the exponent matches, then you can add the numbers in front. But when you're multiplying exponents, it's almost easier because really all you do is you keep the bottom thing, the x, and you just add the exponents together. So what you'll get is x to the seventh. That is the simplification or combining these things together into one thing. And when you think about it, I'll show you how this makes total sense. Okay? Because what you really have here, this x to the power of four, this is basically x times x times x times x. That's what it is, four times, one, two, three, four. And it's multiplied by x to the third power, which is x times x times x. So I, I put the parentheses here just to kind of show you that this goes with this and this goes with this. But really you don't need parentheses here. Everything's multiplied together. So I could kind of just kind of take them off if I wanted to. Everything's multiplied together so the parentheses don't really matter much. So what do I have here? I have x times x times x times x times x times x times x. So I have x multiplied by itself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And that is why we add the exponents together. In order to add exponents, the base, which is the x in this case, they have to be the same. So x matches with x, so we keep the base the same, right, which is everything we're multiplying together, and we add the exponents together. Because ultimately, this is what's happening. All right? What if you had x to the 5 times x to the 5? 
First thing you check is you see, are the bases the same? I have x and I have x, so yes, I can multiply, multiply these together. I'm gonna add the exponents and I'm gonna get a number 10, right? x to the power of 10, I just add them. And again, if you wanted to convince yourself of that, this is x times x times x times x times x, right? And this is all multiplied by, I put a big dot here to represent that it's multiplied by the next thing, x times x times x times x times x. Everything's multiplied together, so really, I have x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 power. So that's why you add exponents together. There's always a reason behind it. All right. So let me go and erase the board and we'll continue building on what we've learned here to go inch our way to the more complicated problems.